Hey everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. I hope you came ready to go thrifting because today we are going to start a maybe two or three part video series that was just one day out with my friend Cindy. Man, we had a good day. You can see here behind me all the things. Actually, you can't see all the things because some of them are down here um, and around here. And I'm going to share all of them with you over the next two or three days. We'll have to see how it goes. I had invited my friend Cindy to come up with me one morning to the shops by the lake. That is where I have my vintage antique boots, my aunt and I. Um, if you don't know about that place, please check it out. If you're anywhere within driving distance of Northeast Ohio, it is at 1871 North Ridge Road in Painesville, Ohio. And we have three boots there. My aunt and I split two, and then she has one on her own. So if you are in the area, go check it out. And then I'm gonna take you over around the corner to a place called the Miscellaneous Barns. And I'll tell you what, if you're in the area, make a great full day event. Spend half the day at the shops by the lake, go have a good lunch. Spend the other half of the day at the Miscellaneous Barns. Perfect day of vintage thrifting. I'm gonna take you first over to the shops and show you just a little clip of what we were finding there. And then I'll come back and I'll show you some stuff up close and then we'll go spend some time at the miscellaneous barn. And then on Thursday, we're gonna stay up lakeside, but to the west, and we're gonna hit some East Lake Willowick shops, including a Goodwill, a Savers, and a Restore. And of course, on the way home, we're gonna hit Goodwill and Mayfield. So lots and lots of thrifting, lots of awesome finds, some bolos in the mix. Let's get started at the shops by the lake. Let's go see what we found. So Cindy and I started our day here at the shops by the lake. I saw this. This is actually a shelving unit. It all folds up. We can just put one down. Put the top one. Oh, I don't want to pinch you. Did I get you? Mm -mm. All right. Look at that. Yeah. So the shelves fold down. It's a three shelf piece. <laughs> and it's in a wonderful color for $7.77. It's crazy. I picked up this basket in another booth. And I picked up uh, the basket, seven bucks, I think, seven eighty-eight, and then this cool little pottery piece. Do you think that's signed? Mmm. Mmm. It's neat. Possibly. It's neat. Dollar forty-seven. What'd you get? I got these out of Amy's booth. Look Thanks, at how Beth. cool those colors mm. are. All right. Yep, we're going home with these things. I think we're gonna head out of here. This vintage collapsible shelf is awesome. <laughs> it is like the perfect thing to drag around and set up when you need it set up. It may just be something I take over with a not for sale sign and use it in one of the booths. I uh, haven't decided yet, but man, is it great because it is in the best color ever. So whoever painted it, kudos to you. I love it. <laughs> Another thing that I found is this amazing lidded, handled basket. This is hand woven and it has this beautiful Greek key pattern going around it. Just awesome. Gorgeous, right? This is made in China. It's a vintage basket and worth a little bit of money. I can see one that is without a handle listed on eBay, I believe for about $55. And then I've seen another one with the handle on Cherish. Now I know that that's kind of a higher price site, but that one's listed for 65. I would be comfortable getting something in the 40 to $50 range for this. It's definitely a quality piece and I was excited to get it. I'm not seeing much of a signature on this pottery, but I am seeing a small mark right here. Can you see that? Almost looks like an arrow or an E. And I haven't really dove into, you know, what that mark could be, but I'll tell you what, it's a very neat little piece of pottery and it was in one of the cheap booths and I think it was like $1.47. So I could not pass that up. Look at how it has this off center little hole. It'd be perfect for a little wonky bud vase. Fantastic shape, 
fantastic feel. All the right things for pottery that I love. Nice little wonky divot here. <laughs> Colors are great. It's very kind of rustic, cool. And it will probably go to maybe the next boho sale that we do. It'll definitely be sold here because I know I have so many pottery lovers too. And this is a beautiful studio pot. And then you saw there at the end, I also had picked up a little flat that had like cellophane with some linens in it. Now there was four of these linen, just simple like cream colored napkins, very pretty with the little cut work around the edges. Four of those matching. And then four of these that had different flowers on them. Each one is the same with the little blue border, but the flower is slightly different. So that was really neat. And these would go really nice with the tablecloth that was in there. And this is just a small card table size. I just looked at the work on this and whoever did this, did it so that it could be used on both sides. You know how normally an embroidery will have the really pretty side <laughs> and then the wonky kind of messy side. Look at this. Now that's some beautiful craftsmanship right there. I love the yellow. It's yellow on every corner. I think that little box was $2 or something. Um, if I have it, I'll put it here on screen. These linens will go over to my booth. I'll probably sell them in three parts. These four napkins, these four napkins, and then this pretty yellow piece. After we got some stuff moved into my booth and some things moved around and we did a little shopping. We went down the street, like I said, to the miscellaneous barns to see what they had. And Cindy had never been here before. So that was kind of cool. Let's go see what we found over at the miscellaneous barn. Miscellaneous barn in Painesville. Is this pottery up here? No, paper mache. Oh, he's cool. It looks like he could be Mexican. All right, what's going on here? He's a pig. Oh, oh my gosh. He looks like he could be Oaxacan. Look at, I didn't realize what he was. I thought he was like a turtle or something, but look, he's a pig. He's a pig. Two dollars. And that's a little wonky elephant. Haven't been here in a while. So kind of exciting to see what they got. I see some pottery over here. Ooh, that's pretty. Kind of chonky. $12 signed. Ooh, look at that piece. I won't spend 30 for that, but that's neat. And this is neat too. Ooh, I like that. Is that stamped? That's a neat little honey pot. Not seeing a signature. Looks like it may have had a sticker or something on there. Ten's a good price for that, but for resale, I probably shouldn't. Gosh, it's a cool piece though. I'll think about it. Oh my gosh. I have something very similar to this. Very similar. Creek Bend. That's neat. That's so unique. 15 on that. That's neat. Ooh. Do we want to pick up some pottery today? This is missing a lid. Ooh, look at that little set. How fancy with all the pieces. Little lusterware bird set. I see some little carved things. Gosh, I love these. Are they signed? There's something about little carved people that I love. I love them. Came around the corner here and this little guy was down a shelf. 
Um, he has a very Yadro-like quality about him. And they have $2 on him. He's not marked. Looks like he had some sort of old sticker on him, but for $2, seems like he would be worth picking up. So funny enough, Cindy found another one of those Yadro looking puppies. We don't think that they're Yadro, but they're awfully cute and they're really well made. So they're really neat too. 25, it's global. When I first saw them, I thought I've seen those before and I think that that is a Yadro. And when we did a Google image search, we did see a Yadro puppy that looked just like this. But you gotta be careful. You gotta look for marks and things that really identify that it's Yadro. I can't call this Yadro because there's no Yadro mark on it. There's no numbers on it other than this little sticker here that's left over from something. Um, and then there's a little foil sticker here but it no longer can be red. So not really sure who made this, but I am pretty sure that it is a replica Yadro puppy. And we have two. And that's okay. People love this really kind of soft pastel ceramic. And people will love to have a little replica Yadro. Now it's not going to be worth what a Yadro puppy would be worth, which is something in the $40 to $50 range. Um, although, also be careful because there are lots listed and few sold. So Yadro has really slowed down in the market and it will sell on eBay, but it's going to sit for a while and you have to have the right price on it. So these, I imagine I can still sell them for something between $16 and $20 um, because they are still really good quality and they do have an adorable little look about them. They're like in a play position with their butts up in the air. Very cute. So I think I might bring them here to a future live sale because y'all know I like to do choice and it would be cool to be able to send each one of these home uh, to one of my friends. So, and if they go for a little less than that, then that's fine too. But that's the plan for these. What's that? That's neat. That would be neat for just a pottery riser. But they got 25 on that. Grade roll department. How cute is that? Look at the hats and stuff up here. Amish hat for five dollars. Wow, that's neat. Seems like a deal. Dollhouse, all furniture, thirty-five. I have some dollhouse furniture I need to go through. Oh, this is cool. Mini dresser, kind of rustic. some cool old fixtures I have these in my house like my bedroom ceiling has that kind of lamp <laughs> it's fun oh my gosh look at that is that an oil can what in the world what in the world okay that's wild I mean three dollars what's wrong with it and what is it I feel like somebody's gonna want that for three dollars my gosh you guys look at this thing it's got to be 36 inches long and it looks brand new I was trying to imagine okay this has got to be for some sort of engine or something that you have to reach way into and sure enough it's meant for a train like a train, a choo-choo train. <laughs> it is marked, it's an Eagle Oiler. It's number 400. And I don't think this has ever been used. I mean, it is pristine. Yeah, the only wear that I see, and it's probably just from sitting somewhere up against something else, is this little scratch right here. The mechanism here still functions really nicely. And all of the parts here, look at how shiny this is. Look at that. 
yeah, I can't imagine <laughs> it was used. It's so cool. I'd never seen anything like that. And I couldn't believe when I looked back there how big, <laughs> massive it is for $3. Oh my God, I don't know what it is. I don't know what you use it for. But for $3, it's going home with me. <laughs> it looks like a couple of these sold last year or the year before in the like $65 range. And I think there's only one listed on eBay right now currently. And I think it's like $75. I'll put it on eBay and put something between $60 and probably $70 on it. It's a cool train collectible for sure. Because, you know, who has an oil can for a train in their train collection? <laughs> Somebody's going to want this for sure. No doubt. I'm oohing about all the brown stuff. I love this stuff. Gosh, that's pretty. That's a neat little vase. That's all hand carved. Mm -hmm. But I was oohing about this piece right here. I love this little piece. Look at that with the little lid. Is it signed? It's signed. Oh yeah, we'll grab that for $3 for sure. What's this? Is this a little salt pig? That's cute too. Looks like it might have a crack though. Yep. Is that a crack? Yeah, I can feel it with my thumbnail. It's a crack. It's neat. It's this guy back here. He's got cool colors. Ooh, he's got cool colors. $8. Ooh, I like him. Look at the color on that. He's not signed though. Why not? Anything down there that we have to check out? That little picture's five. That guy's five. Ooh. Ooh, what are these? What are these? Oh my, my. These are awesome. Oh, that's super cute. Oh my gosh. There's two of them and they come together. Did you see these though? Oh my gosh. <laughs> You guys, look at what she's doing to me. Did I see these though? It's a whole freaking end cap of clowns. I think she hates me. Look at these pieces. Look at how wonky cool those dragonflies are. There's some chipping right there on the spout. Gosh, those are cool. The colors on them. It looks so familiar. Gosh, why are they not marked? That looks yeah. like it has a little something there. Yeah, it's like JB. JB? Why isn't this one marked? I don't know. I love those so much, but I can't do 25 and I can't do it with that chip. If it was perfect, I think I would consider it. <laughs> yeah, we're about to go into the furniture area. I had this horse. This is a neat area back here. Oh, he's cool. I ended up... Um... Did you sell him? No, I donated him. He's awesome too. Is he a... Yeah, he's a hagger. He's 25. Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's neat too. Oh, that's an artsy God. piece. Yep. Are you serious? Uh-huh. I recognize it. That oh, rock. Oh my gosh. Rock hard pottery. Yes. Those are beautiful. <laughs> Are those all vases? Why are there so many? 15 each. Yeah, Cindy's the one that bought me the fish vase that's in my shelves. Look at those horses, they're wonderful. It's very beautiful. Yeah, look at the big platters down there. I really like those pieces. They're gorgeous. But why would you have all those vases? So they must have scooped them from somewhere. Right. The mugs are eight. What is that? <laughs> we have to uncover this to see what it is. No, we don't. <laughs> yes, we do. Oh, it's like a fake fossil or something. Mm. <laughs> In this building back here, everything is half off. <laughs> do you stop. There's so many clowns here. She's terrorizing me. Whoa, look at that little guy. I see a little, little panda. Why? Why? Ooh, what is going on with those chairs back there? Look at the lines on those. What? What? 
What, what? What, what? Look at this cool thing. What is this? Cool, like, little it's a little bed tray thing. for your bed. Yeah. These, they have uh, rollers on them. There's four of them. Those are kind of cool. $20 each, which would make them 10 bucks a piece today. This is a pretty bed right here. It's because I'm hangry. You're hangry that you're torturing me with clowns? Yeah, because I'm hangry. That's just wrong. He's Look cute. His sweet face. Very sweet. Better than a clown. Way better than a clown. What are these guys? Novelty. For a dollar. Look at how cute these are. These little hand painted. Oh, those are adorable. For a buck? Yeah, we'll take that. These are a dozen little Kokeshi doll candle holders, like for a cake. These are made in Japan, and somewhere on here it said Odagiri, right here, underneath this little staple, it said Odagiri. They had $2 on this, which meant I paid a dollar since everything in that back room was half off. And just wait, we find some more great stuff. Any pottery back here? I see a wonky pottery. piece of pottery. Ooh, that's kind of cool, actually. Place tea light here. Oh, place tea light. Oh, my God. <laughs> that looks like the bottom of a of sky, um, blue sky. It does, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, some of them had, like, shapes like that. What's this over here? No. Just I wonder stuff. what's underneath there. Might be blue sky. All right. We're gonna get all the cheap things today. I think my most expensive thing up there is $3. Yeah. I'm not seeing a signature on this, but wow, what a cool little dish, either for soap right by the sink or to put your rings in. Beautiful colors, nice little texture, probably actually perfect for a bar of soap since it has those grooves. An owl lamp? You know those. Paint your own oh, too. is he not damaged? He looks damaged. He's damaged. Looks like he has a repair. Yeah, he's got a chunk oh. out of his wing. Darn, darn. <laughs> what in the world? Did you see him? Oh, good. What is he? Is he a plant holder for a dollar? Our cheap pile. I think he's a Frenchie, like a French bulldog, right? Those are the ones with those ears. <laughs> he's freaking adorable that's all i know and i know that people love to buy specific breed dog stuff now i've only found one listing of him it's on ebay they're calling him a pug i don't think he's a pug i think pug's ears go down right i don't know i think he looks more like a frenchie what do you think <laughs> Look at his face. Um, he's a planter. He's awesome. He was sold at a discount store that exists right around us uh, for $3.99. The listing on eBay for him, like $100. Ah! <laughs> there is a similar dog over on Amazon that I found on a scooter. And I think they have him for like $95. They're both resin, like, out of China. Uh, but... I'm telling you, people will pay when they see that their dog is a planter and on a scooter. <laughs> Who doesn't want that? Um, I'm not going to price him anywhere near $100, but I will list him on eBay. I have sold other dog-related things before. In fact, I've sold pugs before. I sold a pug um, paper towel holder for really good money. Uh, but yeah, probably something maybe $40 or $50 instead of $100. And I'm sure that he will sell because somebody's going to see him and say, oh, my gosh, that looks just like our Charlie on a scooter. <laughs> and they'll snag him. <laughs> Monday mornings. Why do you have to save for Monday mornings? Why? Because that's the day you're going to run away. <laughs> a what? A butterfly. What's that mean? Butterflies go in there. No. Yeah. Are you serious? It's like a match match holder to me. A match holder? Yeah, like oh. I have never seen that before. Let me Google. Oh, there's a tiny little spider in there. It's so maybe it's a spider house. 
Wait, I mean, what? that one's like right in a row, but they have the little slits in them for the butterfly to So fly you would in. hang that outside and the butterflies would go in there? I guess. See? <gasps> Are you buying it? No. I am. Okay. That's something I've never even seen before, and it's $2.50. All right, we're going to have to make a, a pile again. Butterfly house. Did you know? Because I didn't. Cindy knew right away what it was. Um, apparently, they fly in like little coins in slots. Who knew? I didn't. Um, there is one of these exactly like this listed. Um, I'll share it over here while I'm talking. Um, I think it was on Etsy, but I found like two of them and it looks like these sell really well on eBay. So this is a bolo. Looks like when I list it, it's gonna sell and probably somewhere around $40, which is awesome because I paid $2.50 for this one. I had no idea. <laughs> okay, going crazy back here. Look at this big thermos. It's kind of marred up, but overall it looks pretty good. The inside's real clean. And you don't see the blue one. No, I've never seen that one. All right, so <laughs> into the pile. I don't know much about thermoses, but I know that people collect them. And so does my friend Carol. And I scooped this one for $4 thinking, hmm, maybe she didn't have it. Um, I did give her first dibs, but then she sent me a photo. She said, nope, I got that one. This one's really cool because it has this handle. And this one is in really nice shape. The outside's a little beat up. It needs cleaned, but the inside is like shiny. So I paid $4 for it. It's probably only a $10 to $12 piece. Um, maybe even less if I tried to sell it on eBay just because of the competition. Now over at the shop, I'll probably put, like I said, somewhere around $12 on it. If you were to buy it off of eBay, you're going to spend 10 plus shipping. So you're going to spend probably somewhere close to $20 on it. Somebody will know it's a good deal over at the shop for maybe 12 And that, my friends, wraps up part one, our day of thrifting with my friend Cindy the stuff that we found at the shops and at the miscellaneous barn. Get yourself over to Painesville. It's a great place to antique, vintage, and thrift shop. Evidence of that right back here. All right, everybody, I will see you on Thursday. We are going to continue this day with my friend Cindy, and we're going to dive into some of the other things that we found at the thrift shops up in the East Lake Willowick area. Until then, please take care of yourselves, and I will see you then. Bye.